I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy and this is your monthly tarot scope. I'm so excited to be offering this to you guys. This is a new thing that I'm adding into my videos. I've really been wanting to break things down a little bit more. I always talk about the energy and how it's impacting us, but I wanted to be able to offer this to uh, people on a deeper level to be able to dive in and one of the best ways that I know how to do that is based on the astrological signs because you guys are in kind of your own energetic pockets and I'm certainly by no means an astrologer I have a basic understanding of that so really what we're going to be doing is tapping into that energy that is showing up for your astrological sign and connecting with the tarot cards which absolutely is my area of understanding for things so I hope that you enjoy my monthly videos make sure that you guys subscribe so that you get an alert every time that I share a new video because not everything is going to be shared on Facebook and I I would love to have you jump on as a subscriber here on YouTube. Okay, Taurus, let's get started on your tarot scope for the month of April. So let's take a look at the very first card I want to take a look at is the card for overall self. What does your overall self need to know and need to understand for the month of April? And by the way, some of you are having your birthday this month. Um, it is Taurus season at the end of April, so happy birthday to those of you that are celebrating those. Taurus birthdays in April. So let's take a look at what this card has to say. All right. So the Knight of Earth, and Earth is absolutely the Taurus energy. Taurus is Earth. Taurus is um, really the royalty, I feel like, of Earth. So that's so perfect that this Knight of Earth is here representing you in this time. And this card says itself, time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments, a guardian angel. And so this is Again, that beautiful earth energy, it's time to connect with that beautiful, natural, grounded energy that you have um, and to take the steps that are needed to do the work, to get the stuff done that you're feeling like you need to get done that is for the bigger purpose, that is in the direction of those bigger things. And I'm actually feeling like... Um, it's a little bit like there's like these nitpicky things that maybe you don't feel like doing and um, that we need to do so that we can achieve the things that we want to do. So if you've had some things, if you're like me and you kind of keep putting certain things on your to-do list but not actually doing them, this is going to be a month to clear that to-do list to get that stuff done so that you can find success in life later on with these things. So let's take a look at the next card for that. And the next card is going to talk about work and life's work. So not necessarily what you get paid for, although it can be, but what is the work that you're doing? What is the life's work that you are doing? And um, what do we need to know about that this month? And we have the Awakening card, okay? And this is Archangel Gabriel on this card. And this card is reversed and it said, look at things from a different perspective. A temporary standstill, it's important to be yourself, okay? But the very first thing that stands out to me is that this is Archangel Gabriel. And Gabriel is all about communication and expression. And so I feel like particularly around our work, around our life's work, that we need to be communicating, we need to be expressing ourselves, we need to be uh, speaking our truth, we need to be asking for what we need, uh, communicating those things, and also um, just sharing our ideas. I don't know, I'm, I'm feeling like we have, a, 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 there's going to be a lot of ideas and, and maybe we're going to feel a little bit hesitant to share those. Make sure that you're sharing your ideas, that you're expressing those things, that you're communicating those things. Communication is going to be very, very big. Um, and also setting boundaries around things, particularly with work. So expressing yourself, communicating about what you need and what works for you and um, what is not going to work for you while you are connected with work or across the board with life. This is great advice for anything in life. Now it also might feel like because we have this reverse that things might feel a little stuck. It might not feel like things are moving forward, but this is an important time for you to take that time to get the things done that you need to get done so that you can uh, reap the benefits. I, I'm feeling like May and June are such big 
energetic times for us and and so so you can reap the rewards and the abundance that I feel is coming for us Tauruses I'm a Taurus too um, in May and June so let's take a look at relationships in regards to close family and friends so those people who are in our inner circle not necessarily romantic relationships we will do that in a separate category huh so this is funny, so we got the same card, um, the Awakening card, and I shuffled those too, but um, this is saying, you know, we might have this theme kind of in different areas of our life as well, and so again, it's like, speak your truth, express yourself, especially with those family and friends, make sure that you set those boundaries, make sure that you are also listening, because sometimes communication is about listening and um really taking the time to hear what that person has to say and to understand what that person has to say, but also making sure that you speak your truth, express yourself, that you allow those things to come out um, because it's going to be really important this month for you to ask for what you need and for you to express it. If you're leaving that in, people don't know what you want. And so that's going to be really important in regards to our close circle, inner circle relationships that we have with people. And now let's take a look at romantic relationships. Let's see what this has to say. So this is a great energy around, um, I feel like April overall is a great, beautiful energy for, um, romantic relationships, whether you're in a relationship for it to be deepening, whether you are um, not in a relationship for us to meet somebody that is a soul connection or to reconnect with a soul connection. And so I feel really good about the energy around romantic relationships overall. And this card really supports that. It says contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project. So I just feel like you feel good, you feel contented, you feel balanced, you feel um, understood, you feel like things, you know, if you live with your significant other, that, you know, things at home feel really good, that you kind of have found a flow, you've found a balance, and so this is a really beautiful energy. Um, the four for me is very much about balance um, and stability, so I feel like it's like creating a solid foundation under newer romantic relationships, and it is developing um, deeper relationships into a whole new level of, of a relationship or um, really re-strengthening that foundation that maybe was feeling a little bit more shaky in recent months, uh, maybe through that Mercury retrograde where we've had some challenges with that. So let's take a look at health overall. So this is mental, physical, emotional, psychological, whatever. Let's take a look at what the cards have to say in regards to that for the month of April for Taurus. And we have the moon, okay? So we might have some challenges with sleeping this month, Taurus, um, or some breaks in the sleeping, you know, waking up at night. Um, you might find yourself being really inspired with creative ideas at night. Sometimes that will come in. Um, the card itself says important psychic in insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. Okay, so this is like how much of our fears are holding us back in our life and, and how's it affecting our overall well-being, our mental well-being, our physical well-being, you know. Um, if we are so focused on worry and so focused on fear, we're actually doing really terrible things to the body and to the brain and so the more that we can make efforts to um, step out of that fear, to redirect the brain into more positive things and to focus on the things that we want, not the things that we don't want and to really over and over and over again try to redirect that brain into a better way of thinking, this is going to help your overall well-being, your health and your happiness so much uh, this month and every month so make sure that you're doing that but it looks like we're going to be working on some of those fears maybe slaying some fear dragons that we're experiencing um, so that we can release some of those fears once and for all this month and then we're going to take a look at finances for Taurus for this month okay so <laughs> um, the nine of air 
this, you know, this this card can be a little bit challenging. Okay, so ch uh, just be mindful of what you're spending your money on this month. This doesn't mean it's going to be a bad month in connection with this, but you're going to want to really think about it. Think about what it is that you want to spend your money on and be really intentional with that um, and, and maybe focusing on saving a little bit of money as well so that you have a little of that cushion for this. But this is really about your thinking around money. You know, this card itself says expecting the worst self-fulfilling prophecy, sleeping, sleepless nights. So again, we have these issues connected with sleep. Maybe we're up worrying about money, things like that. Um, but this is really about making sure that we aren't so focused on a lack mindset that we're not allowing this to come in. We really, it looks like we're going to be doing some work on thoughts and changing our thinking and shifting our perspective. And so really working on how can I have less of a lack mindset? How can I panic less if it feels like I don't have enough money? How can I shift that perspective? How can I begin to take logical steps in the direction of creating more? of a financial foundation and then um, being really mindful of those thoughts that I'm putting out there. If I'm saying over and over and over again, I don't have enough money, I can't afford it, all of those things, you're sending that message out to the universe that you can't afford it and that is a lack mindset. So the more that you focus on thoughts like I have more than what I need, I have everything that I need, money is always coming to me. I mean, you can look up all these beautiful money affirmations to focus your thoughts on to try to redirect those thoughts so that you are putting a different signal out to the universe. And finally, Taurus, we will look up that last card and this is just the overall message that we need to know for this month. In closing, what is it that we need to know and what is it that we need to take away? Okay, so we have the Queen of Air card reversed. And this card says, objective decision making, clearing away that which no longer serves you, seeing the humor in the situation, okay? So we might find ourselves feeling a little bit stuck when we maybe are aware of some things that we need to clear out of our life, whether it's stuff, whether it's people, whether it's circumstances, jobs, whatever it is, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting pulled to thoughts here, guys. What thoughts do you need to release that will help you to be more successful in your life? What thoughts are you so used to saying to yourself that are manifesting more and more shitty energy into your life? And how can you shift that? What can you replace that with? How can you argue with yourself in your mind to create a better mindset? Because the queen of air, when this is upright, Man, is she powerful. She is, you know, just this incredibly powerful woman who's independent, who's uh, in charge of her thoughts and her thinking and in her power. And so we want to get there and we're going to get there, but it comes through shifting our perspective. It comes through uh, being really clear with the way that we think about things and um, trying to change that signal that we're putting out to the universe and making decisions and taking actions that will help to serve us for the better in the future. So clearing out, getting rid of those relationships, those um, circumstances, whatever it is that you need to clear out and make room for better things to show up. So that is your month of April Taurus. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about me or about Clarity by Christy, you can check me out at discoveryourawakening.com. Make sure you guys like and comment on this video. Make sure you subscribe so that you get all of my videos as soon as they are released here on YouTube. Thanks guys and I will see you next month with your May video.